Now let's discuss the uh, voltage stability. What does a voltage stability mean? It is the ability of the power system to maintain a steady voltage at all buses in the system after being subjected to a disturbance from a given initial operating condition. So simply it is the ability of the power system to have a steady state voltages at all the buses. Okay, same as the steady state frequency, same as the steady state uh, rotor angle. Here, a steady state voltage at all buses after being subjected to a disturbance. Okay, such as the, of course, the uh, short circuit on transmission line or uh, tripping of transmission line or any other disturbance. Here, the voltage stability depends on the ability uh, of maintaining or restoring equilibrium between the load reactive power and the supply reactive power okay so if we able to maintain this balance between them then we will able to have a steady state voltage so remember that the uh, reactive power is highly related to the voltage remember that the q of our load is equal to the voltage square over the x uh, of our load so the uh, Q of our load is depending on our uh, voltage. So remember that if our supply is able to satisfy the reactive power, if it produces Q required by the uh, supply or the load voltage, if it is satisfying this load by giving it enough Q, then we can have a steady state voltage. But if it cannot satisfy our load, then the voltage in our system will start to decrease in order to satisfy this uh, Q. But the problem is that when the voltage decreases, the uh, Q of our load will start to decrease too. So in the end, it will cause something which is called the voltage collapse. Uh, the voltage collapse which represents the series of events accompanying the uh, voltage uh, decrease okay or the voltage instability the voltage stability um, can be classified into four categories number one the small disturbance uh, what does it mean it means that our system should maintain a steady state voltage when it's subjected to a small disturbance such as the incremental changes in system load a small change in our load or a change in mechanical power for example the larger disturbance in our power system such as uh, here we mean that we are going to maintain a steady voltage after having a large disturbance such as the uh, system faults or a tripping uh, of transmission line short circuit in uh, transmission lines or loss of generations Another one which is the short term voltage stability which representing the dynamics of fast acting load component. What does it mean? It means that short term it means that our uh, equipment or the uh, here the instability occurs very fast. So uh, this involves the components such as the induction motors, induction motors which is controlled by inverters and of course the speed and the uh, the speed of motors and torque can be controlled by the inverter. So this uh, consisting of uh, components which is uh, very fast or acting uh, fast in a very short time. And of course high voltage DC converters such as the uh, boost or bug boost or uh, step down or step up uh, DC converters. All of these converters of course having uh, or controlling very fast. The, of course the high voltage DC converters uh, consisting of a circuit which contains uh, for example IGBT or MOSFET which are having a high switching frequency. So in this case we, we have a period of a study in, in uh, several seconds. The long term of course uh, involves the dynamics of a slower acting equipment such as the tab changing transformer. When we are changing our uh, number of turns, it takes larger time. And the generator current limiters, which uh, represents the field limiters. 
okay the field of course the field current in our generator having a limit okay this uh, two uh, equipment the type changing or the generator current limiters having a larger timer uh, time constant a large time constant which means that our uh, period of interest may extend to several or many minutes so in the end the uh, long term or the short term depending on the time constant of our equipment for example here the uh, grid voltage if we have a 400 kilovolt then we can increase beyond it plus or minus five percent uh, 275 can be plus or minus 10 percent 132 plus or minus 10 percent this is an example on the range where we can uh, change our uh, voltage uh, in case of the instability of our voltage it will cause the following number one the loss of load okay due to the decrease in the voltage for example induction uh, motors when the voltage decreases and we need the same torque then the induction motor will absorb more current in order to satisfy this torque so this will cause overheating in our induction motor so the uh, thermocouple or the uh, thermal uh, protection will trip our induction motor the tripping of transmission line and other elements by their protective systems leading to cascading outages all of this uh, of course the uh, the transmission lines and the x co uh, affect our power generated okay the equation of our power depending on x or the equivalent uh, impedance or the equivalent reactance so the uh, tripping of transmission line will affect this x and of course affect the power generated the loss of synchronism of some generators due to the uh, voltage instability the final thing which is the voltage collapse which leads to blackout or abnormally low voltage in a significant part of our power system so the voltage collapse representing the uh, series of events accompanying the uh, low voltage or the uh, decreasing or the drop in our uh, voltage so the voltage collapse representing the worst case where the it lead to blackout or the disconnection of our generators or the uh, turning off of our electricity